The debut of the 164th model took place in 1987. Then it was offered with twin spark 2.0L, 144 horsepower, engines. Turbocharged turbo petrol 2.0L, 171 horsepower, V-shaped 6, 3.0, 184 horsepower, and turbo diesel 2.5, 117 horsepower. In 1989, the 3.0 V6 engine began to be aggregated with the four-speed automatic gearbox manufactured by ZF. In August 1990, a new version of the Alpha 164 was released, QV, Quadrifoglio Verde, with a 3.0 liter V6 engine with 200 horsepower. A year later, a very original 2.0 liter V6 engine with 201 horsepower was introduced, equipped with a turbocharger. At the end of 1992, the modernization of Alpha 164 was completed and updated versions were released, 2.0 TS. 3.0 Quadrifoglio Verde with V6 engine and super. During the modernization, the engine power was increased and the interior trim was improved, as well as minor changes were made to the chassis. The original design from Pininfarina is largely unchanged, although the front end has been slightly refreshed. An all-wheel drive version began the following year and a new 125 horsepower 2.5 liter turbo diesel was offered. Since 1994, airbags and belt pretensioners have been standard equipment. In 1998, the new flagship model, the Alfa Romeo 166, replaces the 164. The design of this Alfa was developed in the famous Pininfarina studio, and in order for this fact to become known to the general public, the car on the conveyor was equipped with the corresponding body nameplates. The model was produced in only one body, a four-door sedan. The resistance to rust of galvanized iron is very high, and although the guarantee against through corrosion was first six, and then eight years, even a decades, if they are well maintained, it is difficult to find rust. The weakest places in terms of corrosion are wheel arches and sills. Therefore, for cars of the first years of production, these zones must be checked very carefully. The luggage compartment is large, its volume exceeds 500 liters, however, due to the high threshold, the loading and unloading process is not very convenient. The design of the Alfa Romeo 164 was developed by the famous studio Pininfarina. Of the car body parts, wheel arches and sills are most susceptible to corrosion. Another weak point is the electric luggage compartment lock. Due to poor trunk ventilation, wiring contacts often oxidize, which is why the lock can only be opened with a key. And in general, it should be noted that various electric drives are the weak point of the Alfa Romeo 164. In cars manufactured in 1988 to 1990, water can penetrate inside from under a poor quality windshield seal in the rain. So long. The interior of the car is spacious and comfortable. It has good noise isolation and original design. What is the instrument panel? Divided horizontally into two halves, and the center console with many buttons with which you can control the ventilation and heating system. The trunk of the Alfa Romeo 164 is roomy, the volume is 505 liters. However, a large loading height impairs its usability. Salon model and now looks avant-garde. It is comfortable for both the driver and passengers. There is more than enough space for second row passengers. By the way, in some chic versions, instead of a common seat, two separate chairs were installed at the back, equipped with individual electrical adjustments, as well as heating. The front seats with developed lateral support are comfortable for people of any size, which is achieved both due to their shape and the presence of a variety of adjustments, depending on the configuration of mechanical or electric. In addition, you can change the tilt of the steering column, and on some versions, and departure. It goes without saying that all cars are equipped with power steering and power accessories, because this is still a business class. For the convenience of placing small items in the cabin, there are many pockets and glove compartments located in the doors, center console, and armrests. By the number of indicators, this model resembles an airplane. On its center console there are 24 control lights that display the status of all vehicle systems. It is gratifying that the main instruments are in their usual places and have a classic shape. True, on copies released before 1993, that is, before the first and only modernization, the dashboard solution was not very successful, so it took a lot of time to figure out which switch was responsible for which function. In addition, depending on the ambient light, the indicators could throw off glare and be difficult to read. To solve this problem, 
the switches and indicators of the fresh machines were modernized and combined into the corresponding logical blocks. Engines. The range of powertrains consists of seven petrol engines and two turbo diesels. The most preferred are cars equipped with gasoline atmospheric engines of 3.0 liters, 184 horsepower, and force 3.0 liters, 200 horsepower. Turbocharged units have a smaller motor resource and 24 valve and branded alpha twin spark are more complex and expensive to maintain. In these six units, the electronic control unit is not entirely reliable. In addition, they noted excessive oil consumption. In diesel 125 horsepower engines with a volume of 2.5 liters, the turbine has a short service life. In many V6S, both gasoline and diesel, it is not uncommon for the front right engine mount to fail. In cars manufactured before 1991, due to leaks in the hoses and connections of the cooling system, antifreeze often leaks. The model was completed with seven petrol engines and two six-cylinder turbo diesels. With any of the units, it has high dynamic performance. At first, the 164th was equipped with a four-cylinder twin spark 2.0L, 144 horsepower, with a proprietary alpha scheme with two spark plugs per cylinder turbocharged turbo petrol 2.0 l 171 horsepower v-shaped 6 3.0 l 184 horsepower which developed 200 horsepower on the quadrifoglio verd qv version and a 2.5 td turbo diesel 117 horsepower in 1991 a 2.0 liter turbocharged petrol v6 201 horsepower appeared in the range Later they began to install 24 valve 6 3.0 liters with a capacity of 207 to 228 horsepower and a new 2.5L turbo diesel, 125 horsepower. The price for such extraordinary performance of Italian engines is their exactingness and timely branded service, as well as a good appetite. If you follow the factory recommendations and do not bring the power affigates to a state of complete neglect, then you should not expect any sudden troubles with the exception of electrical ones. However, on turbocharged versions, and especially on diesel engines, the state of the turbocharger should be given increased attention, because the resource of this unit usually does not exceed 150,000 kilometers. It is worth noting that the recommended interval for replacing the timing belt is only 40,000 kilometers, and it is categorically not recommended to neglect this requirement. Since when it breaks, the bend of the valves, and even the deformation of the head, heads, of the block are guaranteed. For domestic conditions, a 3-liter 12-valve gasoline 6 is considered the most suitable, which is distinguished by a high resource and relative accessibility for maintenance and repair. Transmission. Almost all cars were equipped with a 5-speed manual gearbox, and only in tandem with the 3.0-liter V6 was sometimes a 4-speed automatic from the well-known ZF company installed. Despite its brand origin, automatic did not prove itself from the best side, although, perhaps, powerful motors and hot drivers simply finished it off. As for the, the mechanics, this is a completely reliable unit, but on the machines of the first years of production, increased wear of the third gear synchronizers was noted. When buying, you should also pay attention to the condition of the gearbox hydraulic bearings, which fasten it to the subframe, which also carries the lower suspension axles and steering gear. All Alpha 164s were equipped with 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic gearboxes. In the mechanics of cars of the first years of production, there is a difficult inclusion of gears and increased wear of third-gear synchronizers. 164s have a rigid, sports-tuned suspension, which does not last long in our conditions. The thrust bearings of the front shock absorbers often fail. Solid blocks of the front levers and ball bearings are able to run 30 to 40,000 kilometers. Suspension. The car has an independent suspension of all wheels of the rack mount type. The design of the suspension provides the model with excellent driving performance and allows the driver to enjoy driving the machine in any mode, even extreme ones. A pleasant moment for domestic operation is a ground clearance of 140 millimeters, which allows you to feel calm on our not very smooth roads. The resource of the undercarriage elements is small, they require revision every 30 to 40,000 kilometers. As a rule, this run requires the replacement of silent blocks of the front levers and ball bearings, and after strong side, curb, impacts, hub bearings, and rear suspension elements often fail. It is worth noting that the 164th was also produced in an all-wheel drive version, 
the Q4 slash QV version. It was equipped with the 3.0 liter, 6, and the original transmission. But they are highly discouraged from buying by domestic service providers, because they are complex and expensive to maintain and repair, and spare parts can only be purchased on order and for a lot of money. In general, this Alpha can be compared with a beautiful, thoroughbred, temperamental, but capricious and pampered horse, which can run very fast, but requires constant attention. This brand in all countries has admirers who forgive their horses for their various shortcomings for a special position. Steering. The rack and pinion steering is quite sharp and informative, however, due to the stiff suspension, all the flaws in the road surface are felt on the steering wheel. Most modifications have a hydraulic booster, which is very sensitive to the quality of the working fluid. Brake system. The brakes of all modifications of the Alfa Romeo 164 are effective. Front and rear, disc. Many versions were equipped with ABS. The weak point of the brake system is the accelerated wear of the front brake discs on cars with powerful engines. The 164 is equipped with all-wheel disc brakes, ventilated at the front, and ABS is present on most copies. The efficiency of the brakes is quite worthy, but it requires quite a lot of attention to itself. There have been repeated cases of wedging of the brake cylinders, rapid wear of the front discs, and malfunctions of the ABS sensors. Italians are a somewhat isolated class of cars, and for the most part their owners are passionate connoisseurs of their stylish and temperamental cars. All this fully applies to the Alfa Romeo 164. Electrician. In general, the 164 has more than enough of all kinds of electrical gadgets, and, unfortunately, with age they are prone to various diseases. So when buying a car, you need to carefully check the operation of all its electricians, and find a copy that will work for everything. Very, very difficult. But there are a number of particularly problematic systems, and here is a list of them. Failures of the electric drive of the trunk lock, power windows, sunroof, central locking, electric seat adjustments, various sensors, instruments, and control lamps are not uncommon. And you also have to be prepared for the fact that not all modes of the heater slash air conditioner will function clearly, which is due to malfunctions of servo motors, the replacement of which is very expensive. The most serious breakdowns include failures of the electrics that control the engine, because repairing it is problematic and expensive. 